Hi everyone, this video is an updated tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.2, this time, unlike my old tutorial, without the need for a computer. And that's thanks to Linsys. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, but it is a new jailbreak that was released today as of recording that works like the original jailbreak me does. You just go to a website, hit jailbreak, and it jailbreaks. Super cool, and I'm so happy to see that development uh, of jailbreaks for these old devices is still continuing. So before we begin here, I gotta go over what exactly is supported so you can make sure that your device is eligible for this jailbreak. So Linsys works on iOS 7.1, 7.1.1, and 7.1.2. So it doesn't work on any versions other than those three. It is also only for 32-bit iOS devices. So that means the iPhone 5S and original iPad Air, this will not work on. If you have like an iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, any 32-bit iOS device, you can Google whether yours is if you aren't sure, this will work for you. So first off here, the, the device I'll be demoing with is a 16 gigabyte CDMA iPhone 4. I just restored this device in iTunes. Jailbreaking will usually work um, on a device that's not been restored recently that has a ton of stuff on it. But if you do run into problems and you have a very old install that hasn't been wiped in a long time, my first recommendation is always to plug it into iTunes, uh, back up your data, and restore it clean in iTunes, not through the settings app, and then try again. So that's just my general advice if something goes wrong. And always back up your data just to be sure that you don't end up losing anything if something goes wrong. So with that, we're going to open up Safari and just type in here lyncisjb.com. And here we go. Super simple open source which is nice and uh, let's just hit jailbreak so it's gonna download resources it's installing the jailbreak there's that classic storage almost full that you always seem to get when running a jailbreak I still don't know why that happens maybe someone can explain in the comments but on pretty much any jailbreak you'll see that so now we're respringing or maybe rebooting and we should have Cydia after this. Okay. That took a while, but there we go, Cydia. And this is a fully untethered jailbreak, so you will never have to rerun anything or do anything else. Restart the device as many times as you want. It will stay jailbroken and stay working. Okay, so we're in Cydia now, and things will mostly work fine, but there are a few fixes you'll want to do, just some issues that have cropped up over time. So I'm going to go over a little bit of that now so we can, uh, so that you can get the most out of your jailbroken device. So, so the first thing is just remove this uh, Ultra Snow repo. This has been down literally since, like, gosh, I don't know, but it was already... It was already down in like 2017 when I jailbroke a iPhone for the first time and it's still down now, so get rid of that. And that should also update your sources, which you need to do anyway to actually download all the info on packages that are available. And there you go, everything is here. And yes, ModMy works again. Uh, if you know, it had been down for a little while, but it's back, it works. So you're all good there. So at this point, Cydia is really all set up. Um, you can add sources, download and install packages, anything like that will work fine. Uh, if you wanna start sideloading old games and apps, uh, you can check out, I have two tutorials on that, the original main tutorial, and then a small minor update since then because you need to use a different uh, repository uh, to install it these days. I'll link both of those in the description. So there is one last thing that you are probably going to want to do to get your device fully set up and ready to go. Uh, and that is install an updated security certificate that will fix some problems you might run into loading secure HTTPS websites and Cydia repos. So normally I go to this link and do it, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm going to try another link uh, that is the same thing. 
And this one should hopefully work. This is CLP dot X10 dot MX slash JB CERT, CERT, certificate dot DER. Very odd, I'm having the same issue I was before and I'm guessing it's just some oddity with my device because what should happen now and what's always happened to me in the past is it redirects to settings, pops up a thing saying, do you want to install this? And then I hit install and it works. I have no clue why it's not working for me today, um, but it's always worked in the past and I'm guessing this is a me issue somehow. So if you're having the same problem, let me know, uh, but it should work if you do that. Um, so <laughs> what can I say? But there we go. Cydia installed, working, all good to go. If you have any questions, run into any issues, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see everyone later. Hope this helps.